Hallelujah, Hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. <coughs> we worship you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. Oh God Almighty, you are good all the time and all the time. You are good, you are good all the time and all the time. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. People from every nation in tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. You are good. Hallelujah, Lord, you're good, Lord, you're good. Lord, you're good. You are good. You are good, you are good, oh Lord, you're good. We sing unto you a new song today. You are good. You are good, you are good, good, good. You are good, you are good, you are good, good, good. There is none like you, no one else can touch our hearts like you do. We could search throughout eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, you are welcome, dear. There is none like you. No one else can touch our hearts like you do. Lord, we could search throughout eternity, yes, and find there is none like you. Hallelujah, Lord, there is none like you. We bless your name, O oh Lord. No one else can touch our hearts like you do. We praise your name, O oh God. We could search throughout eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. My warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Hear me now, Jehovah is his name. His name is Jehovah, Jehovah is his name. He's a mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is his name. Something about the name Jesus. Mm. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. 
Mm. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name we know. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, there's something, something about your name. Master, Savior, Jesus, like a fragrance after the rain. Jesus, Jesus, Lord Jesus, let all heaven and earth Proclaim kings and their kingdoms shall all pass away, but there's just something about, there's just something about yes there's something about your name hallelujah jesus lord jesus lord jesus oh let heaven and earth proclaim proclaim his name just call his name in your space this day call his name in your space this morning wherever you are no matter what you're going through just softly or loudly however you can without being a distraction or a disturbance to others just in loving adoration just declare the name of our Lord and Savior this morning. It's, the Bible says that if you call upon his name, you shall be saved. If you call upon his name, he will come and he will answer. He will hear and answer. Just call his name this morning by faith. Just simply say, Jesus, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I guarantee your atmosphere will shift. I guarantee everything that was heavy will become light. Everything that was dark will get bright. Everything that was wrong will get right. Just call him by his name. Just call him by his name. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior and soon coming King. We call upon you this morning as a family. We call upon you to come into this altar that we have set up for you. Lord, as you appeared to the disciples in the fourth watch hour, walking on the sea, we call upon you to come, O Lord, come as we plea. Come, O God, because our hearts are on our knee. Come, Lord Jesus, because we plea. Come, Lord Jesus, because you love us. Come, Lord Jesus, into this space, into this time, into this season. Lord Jesus, we invite you in. Come, Holy Spirit, take dominion, take control. Do what only you can do. Be who only you can be, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let all heavens and earth proclaim that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah. Just call him by his name. Just call him by his name. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Some call him Yeshua, the Amashiach of Nazareth. Some call him Rose of Sharon. Some call him the Lily of the Valley. 
Hallelujah. Some call him the Most High. Some call him the I Am that I Am, the Great I Am. Some call him Yahweh. Some call him Jehovah. Some call him Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah El Shaddai. Hey, Jesus. Some call him Elohim. Some call him El Elyon. Some call him Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Jehovah is his name. Yeshua is his name. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit is his name. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is our Lord, our Savior, and our King. And as we call him by his name, he has already taken the blame. As we call him by his name, he shows up in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that we are blessed and highly favored. I declare this morning that we are more than conquerors. We are blessed to be a blessing. I declare and prophesy this morning that we are delivered, set free, and made whole from every plan, scheme, and trap of the enemy. I declare that as we worship the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he comes and he comes to solve. He comes to bring life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. And so I prophesy to your soul this morning. I prophesy to your spirit. I prophesy that you are you are righteous in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy to you and to your family this morning that you are more than conquerors. You are overcomers. That you are blessed to be a blessing. I prophesy to you this morning that this is the month of your breakthrough the month of your release, the month of your peace, the month of your joy, the month of your prosperity and good success. I prophesy to you this morning that this is the month when you will see God's hand like never before, that you will know that God is God good and his mercies endure it forever. I prophesy to you that this month you will see changes in your family situation, shifts and turnarounds. I prophesy to you this morning that the will of God will be done in your life and in your family in this month in the name of Jesus. I reach into heaven and I call down peace in your household peace in every situation that is trying to rob you of your peace. I call a call from heaven fire, fire to war on your behalf. Those who are having issues with, with, with documents, having issues with arguments and fights and disagreements in their marriage, in their house with their children, I command the peace of God to be in your house in the name of Jesus. I call forth fire from heaven to burn up every Jezebel plant, every Ahab spirit in your house, in the name of Jesus. I call for I call forth from heaven the fire of God to bring stability, to bring restoration to your house in the name of Jesus. I call forth fire of God to bring healing to your body now in the name of Jesus. I speak to every headache, every eye ache, every ear ache, every sinus draining every nerve issue i speak to every throat issue right now i speak to every symptom of flu and covid 19 and any other thing that is causing soreness in your throat and congestion in your lungs i command the fire of god to burn out every contamination everything that is in your system that is not according to the will of god i command it to be uprooted now every negative thought every fear every doubt, every unbelief, every anxiety. I command those spirits to uproot from your mind now, from your soul now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare that you are blessed and highly favored. I declare that you are strong and mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold that seeks to come against you, every stronghold of poverty, lack and insufficiency, every stronghold of financial uh, shortages in the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot your financial issues. I uproot them and I send them to dry places in the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot your knee pains. I uproot your back pains, your hip pains. I uproot them by fire. I uproot your stomach discomfort. I uproot every pain and every parasite in your intestines. I uproot every pain and discomfort in your womb in the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot every pain in your testicle, every pain in your prostate, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I uproot every pain in your fingers, in your joints, 
hallelujah every pain in your ankles every circulation issue i uproot them now in the name of jesus every problems with your blood platelet every problems with your pancreas every problem with your spleen i uproot that now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare that you are healed your family is healed your 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 children are healed in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that every issue surrounding your neck the back of your neck your third and fourth vertebrae your fourth and fifth vertebrae i uproot every pain in the back of your neck right now 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 in the name of jesus christ every upper neck pain and every lower back pain i uproot you by fire by fire by fire in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i uproot every headache yes every every migraine headache every sinus headache every headache from stress i uproot you now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and i declare the blessings of the lord make rich and add no sorrow therefore sorrow goodbye and do not come back tomorrow in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare god's people healed delivered set free and made whole in the name of jesus i command diabetes hypertension rheumatoid arthritis every kind of cancer every kind of ailments circulation issues blood issues i command you to go from god's people right now if you are hearing my voice you must go every 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 disorder that leads to a stroke that leads to any kind of heaviness any kind of disability i remove you now in the name of jesus christ i speak to your body right now paul smith i speak to every sinew every cell every tissue and I command them to respond in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to be strong and mighty in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare God's word over you. I declare you healed. I declare you delivered. I declare you strong. I declare that God Almighty is the only one who decides whether you live or die. Satan have no part or lot with your life or your death in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare you, Paul and Smith powerful mighty in god that the will of god is the only thing that shall take place in your life and so i speak the life of god i speak the love of god i speak the will of god i speak the power of god i speak the anointing of god upon you and upon every member of this family paulette smith in the name of jesus you stand as proxy this morning for the love of jesus christ of nazareth to be manifested in us lord jesus let that love that you sent to the saint Turian's house. Let that love that you took to Jairus' house. Let that love that you emit that that trans transmitted from you to the woman with the issue of blood. Let that love that you showed the woman bent over for 18 years. Let that love that you showed the man at the pool of Bethesda for 35 years. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we call upon you. We call your name this morning, precious Lord. Lord, we are not perfect, but we come before the perfect God. We come before a perfect Lord that knows our needs, that knows our cries, that hears, O oh God Almighty. And Lord Jesus, we say by your stripes, we are healed. I release the healing power of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. Morning. I release the healing power of the name of Yeshua, the Amashiach of Nazareth. I release the healing power of Jehovah Rapha. I send the healing power of the Lord through these medium this morning. I send them to your heart. I send them to your lungs. I send the healing power of God to your kidneys. I send the healing power of God to your spleen. I send the healing power of God to your brain. I send the healing power of God to your soul right now, right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the fire of God is entering your skin. The fire of God is entering your skin. It's not hot, your house hot. You're feeling the heat, the fire of God. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the move of God is taking place in your space right now. Whether you're at work or at home or on the drug, jogging track or walking trailer, the fire of God is hitting your body right now right now and everything that is out of alignment is being fixed right now fibroids is being fixed right now come on we declare this day that if it is not god's will for someone
something to happen it will not happen the power of God will melt it in the name of Jesus will delete it in the mighty name of Jesus will uproot it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we are believing God that only what God himself has ordered and orchestrated anything that is left in your body in your soul in your mind will or emotion after this morning it is God's will because Satan cannot defy or deny derail or delay or destroy the works of God he cannot defy the name of the Lord Jesus Christ he cannot override what God has said and the Lord Jesus Christ has said that healing is our bread we claim our healing this morning we claim our deliverance this morning Satan is not as strong as God because even us we are stronger the Lord says he has given us power power to tread upon every serpent and scorpion to walk upon that which the enemy sends against us and he has given us power over all the power of the enemy of our souls of our body of our mind will and emotion of our spirit and nothing shall by any means hurt us lord we call out to you this morning as a family and we say if that is your covenant promise to us that nothing shall by any means hurt us then this morning we cry out to you on behalf of those who are hurting those who are having heart issues those who are having lung issues kidney issues those who are having throat issues we cry out to you this morning oh god almighty and we say lord jesus christ of nazareth because your word is not just like man your word is not puff of air your word is solid your word is powerful your word is awesome your word is true your word shall not return unto you void but must accomplish that which it was sent forth to accomplish and so lord jesus christ i send forth your word to accomplish healing i send forth your word to accomplish deliverance i speak healing to you now come on put your hand on your head put your left hand on your head and your right hand on your heart and just declare i am healed i am delivered in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i am healed I I am delivered every infirmity in my body come up and out now every fear every doubt every unbelief everything that has caused an infirmity to enter my body to enter my soul be uprooted now by faith in the name of Jesus by the love of the Lord Jesus Christ for each and every one of us I command an uprooting of every demonic force and source operating in our bodies from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet i command by the authority of the lord come on people of god you got to believe that god is able Put your hand on your stomach and command every unclean thing to be uprooted from your life now. Today is Deliverance Thursday. The Lord knew he would have work to do this morning. The Lord Jesus Christ was up and exercising, ready to do what he's got to do for us. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord in our space, Lord in our place. And we are believing that he's able to do the exceedingly abundantly above all. We could ask, think or imagine and so this morning we speak to every demonic force operating in and around the Fort Watch family and we say uproot and go by fire every spirit of rejection every spirit of fear every spirit of doubt every spirit of wondering every spirit of I can't every spirit of failure every spirit of setback of delay of derailment I uproot you from God's people this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I uproot you now I uproot you at the sound of my voice uproot and go uproot and go in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit of broken marriage broken relationships every spirit of I can't have a, a relationship every spirit of give up I uproot you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth <clears throat> 
I declare that your time in God's people's lives are over. Your time is over. Your time is over. I uproot you by fire. I uproot you by fire. Every spirit of failure, I uproot you by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every spirit of infirmity, at the sound of my voice, I'm going to count to three. And at the sound of my voice on three, every spirit of infirmity, uproot and go now. We break your curse. We sever your chains. We bind your kings with chains and your nobles with fetters of iron. And we say no more operating in God's people. No more operating against the purposes of God. We declare that today the Lord Jesus Christ himself has stepped into our realm, stepped into our atmosphere. He has come to our rescue like a knight in shining armor. And so everything that is broken in your life, we declare it fixed today in the name of Jesus Christ. We uproot every demonic assignment, every demonic manifestation, spirit of witchcraft. We uproot you this morning in the name of Jesus, spirit of the devil. We uproot you. The Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth rebuke you. Every demon that you have sent against God's people through witchcraft, off of hallelujah through portals we, re we repel you we reject you and we uproot you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth spirit of setback yes 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 that spirit of setback that spirit of setback that has been holding back God's people I command you right now die by fire die by fire die by fire in the name of Jesus Christ because we will walk in the fullness of victory victory belongs to us in the name of Jesus every tormenting spirit every tormenting demon and every tormenting human that is tormenting us coming after us doing things to us trying to disrupt or to delay or to derail or to deny our our connection to God our relationship with God we sever that this morning in the name of Jesus every tormenting spirit working as a demon in our space or as a human being <clears throat> in our space we reject you and we send fire to you now in the name of Jesus Christ Every spirit trying to torment our children at school, torment, tormenting our sons and daughters, it, it's causing them to, 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 to go off into other areas and space and mindset. Every demonic force trying to influence our children to think the way they want them to think. We reject that. We block our children's ears from hearing their voices in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare that our children are blessed. Our children are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds our children are more than conquerors our children's feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace our children are overcomers our children are victorious they walk in the victory that Christ died to give them that we pray for them to encounter we declare that our children have the mind of Christ they are excellent in all their ways and all their days we declare that this is the month of the restoration of our children in the name of Jesus. Every child that has been on the borderline, on the edge, every child that has been depressed and oppressed, every child or children that have missed the mark, that have not been fully immersed in purpose. We pull them back from the dead places, from the dry places, from the barren places, and we release them into the fullness of the goodness of the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare that our children shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. We declare this morning that our children are powerful. They are like David with the sling in his hand. They are like Samuel with the sword in his hand oh our children are have words of power words of anointing words of restoration words of glory our children are worshipers our children are more than enough for the enemies of this world in the name of Jesus Christ our children are watchmen on the wall our children are more than victorious they are victorious victorious to make others victorious as well we declare our children are leaders they are front runners they are trailblazers our children are the first of many things in this generation in the name of jesus christ of nazareth 
we come against every spirit of mental illness that wants to attack our children that comes through the cell phones through the computers that spirit of man madness that spirit of insanity that spirit of mental illness that is being spoken over the over the airwaves spoken yes you are crazy yes you are mad that spirit that comes on those words said by demonic forces said by humans controlled by demons we cancel that we grab them in the realm of the spirit we go back in the realm and wherever they have been spoken wherever it has been insinuated wherever chants and decrees and declares have been made over our children and even over us that speaks what we do not see speak what we do not want we do not desire speak against what God says concerning us we back that up in the name of Jesus we bind that this morning in the name of Jesus we put that in a package and send it to dry dark places we send it to hellfire in the name of Jesus Christ we declare that we are the blessed of God the highly favored of God today we are more than conquerors today we are born of God and we live in the goodness and the mercy of God in the name of Jesus Christ by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth I paralyze all powers that expand the problems in our lives in the name of Jesus hallelujah I paralyze all hallelujah all handiwork of the enemy all handiwork of the enemy that expands or establishes problems in our lives ah uh, come on you got to say i receive it when i speak a word say i receive it i believe it and i receive it in the mighty name of jesus christ come on you got to receive it in your space so that it becomes yours the angels are waiting right where you are right at your shoulders the angels are waiting to see if your faith will meet the words that I am speaking and when faith means faith meet faith oh we have food on our plate we can appreciate God will come and all hate will disappear come on glory to God and so let me say this again father by your authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit I paralyze all powers that expand or establish problems in the fourth watch family in the name of jesus christ of nazareth lord i believe it and i receive it i am delivered from all problems of the enemy uh, already established and to be established in the name of Jesus come on I believe it and I receive it say it and it shall be so because your words have power your faith is demonstrated by your actions come on glory to God hallelujah father in the name of Jesus Christ I paralyze I cramp and paralyze I tie up and destroy all powers that delay miracles in our lives miracles for us miracles through us in the name of Jesus Christ I paralyze I tie up I cut off the head of any power any demon any devil that seeks to delay derail or deny the miracles of God that have been released for me every Prince of Persia holding up my answer for my answer to prayers I cut them off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I paralyze them I destroy them by fire in the name of Jesus every demonic force working against your miracles working against your breakthrough I destroy their works this morning in the mighty name of Jesus I release you to flourish I release you to prosper I release you to be in good health even as your soul prospers in the mighty name of Jesus come on people of God all you got to do this morning is say I receive it I receive it I receive it and don't just say it because it's words say it because you mean it say it because the angels have been dispatched to make it happen for you like Daniel he was praying and fasting he was declaring God's goodness he was worshiping God and the angel was released the angels came and the angel said to him oh Daniel from the day you opened your mouth to pray the answer was released but the Prince of Persia was holding up but Daniel continued to believe Daniel didn't waver he didn't fear he didn't give up on God hallelujah 
answered this morning. Every spirit that wants us to give up on God, we paralyze them now. We cramp them now. We destroy their works now. Every spirit that wants to block what God is saying in and through us in this season, we say never. We cramp and paralyze you. We uproot you by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ah, Father, by your authority this morning, I paralyze all marriage-destroying spirit, all marriage-destroying spirit, those that desire to destroy marriages that exist now and marriages that are to come. Come on, people of God, especially you women that are not yet married, you men that desire to be married and you're not yet married. Come on, you got to grab this one early. Grab, reach into the realm of the spirit and grab this one say lord i believe it i believe that every marriage destroying spirit every marriage destroying spirit every foul spirit that has been causing arguments with my spouse that have been causing disagreements causing upset causing us to always be at each other antagonizing spirit every foul spirit that is telling me that my age is getting too old and i won't and i haven't seen the man yet i haven't seen the woman yet uh, that i will never be married i cancel that assignment every assignment that says you will not have a happy marriage or you will not live out the rest of your life happy with your spouse or that you will not get a spouse that you will live happy with i cancel cramp and paralyze that assignment that contract in the name of jesus christ i uproot that jezebel i uproot that destroyer spirit in the name of jesus that contaminating spirit i uproot you by fire this morning in the name of jesus christ of nazareth so every marriage destroying spirit i uproot you i bind you and i send you into the abyss no more shall you harass any of God's people in this family in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I paralyze and destroy all anti-miracle agents operating against our finances, against our health, against our prosperity and good success, against our devotion time, against our study of the word, against our prayer life, against our understanding what God is saying to us in this season. I paralyze all anti-miracle agents agents, everything that is stopping us from walking in the fullness of revelation of who God is. I paralyze you. I paralyze you. I paralyze your works in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare that we are blessed to be a blessing. We walk in the fullness of the goodness of God. We have the mind of Christ. We are more than conquerors through him who love us. We are walking in the fullness of the goodness of Isaiah 11 and verse 2. The Spirit of the Lord is upon us this morning. Today as the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Come on, I receive it. Every time I say it, say I receive it. Ah, we are walking today in the spirit of wisdom and understanding. I receive it. In the spirit of counsel and might, I receive it. In the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, I receive it. I walk in the fullness of the goodness of the fruit of the Spirit of God. I receive it. I demonstrate the power and the glory unmeasured of God through the gifts of the Spirit. I receive it. I am blessed. I am highly favored. I walk in the power and the anointing and the glory of the Most High God. That's who I am in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, by your authority, by your power, I paralyze all financial destroyers in the name of Jesus. Everywhere, oh God, where the devil has been using our finances like a dog on a collar, that they are he's leading away our finances to other places. Everywhere that our finances have been buried, have been hidden under the under the sea in the marine kingdom, buried under the earth like hidden treasure. Ah, oh, hallelujah, or in the second heaven. God, this morning we paralyze the works of the enemy. We tear off the hands of the enemy off of our finances in the name of Jesus. And 
we command our finances to come from the north, south, east, and west. Wise men, hallelujah, demons and devils, wherever you are with our finances, bring those chests come now. Bring those accounts now. Bring those vaults now. In the name of Jesus, we command a shift. We command a turn. We command a change in our finances now. In the name of Jesus, creative ideas and witty inventions, I release upon you now to gain wealth. For it is our God, our God, not Satan, our God, who has given us the ability to create wealth. I declare the ability to create wealth is being released upon you right now. Come on, I receive it. In the name of Jesus, I have the mind of Christ. Therefore, there is nothing that I cannot do. I have the hand of God. Therefore, there is no war I cannot fight. There is nothing that I cannot fix. In the name of Jesus, I speak to your finance now and I declare that ideas will come that will make you wealthy. In the name of Jesus. Those of you who know how to trade or have been hearing about this Bitcoin and this trading thing, God is going to open some doors for some persons to flourish, to prosper in this season. Don't be afraid. Come on, ask God. If, that, if you are so inclined and if you have the resource to invest, I am releasing upon you this day to walk in the fullness of the goodness of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, go with the flow of God. Go in the glory of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I declare your days of poverty, lack and insufficiency over right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you are blessed to be a blessing. And I declare every spirit working against your finances be destroyed now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh Lord, make us a channel for your blessing this morning. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, make every fourth watch family member, every person that is on here now that means well, that loves you, that is called according to your purpose. I ask you even now, Father, as a favor to me, as a demonstration of your love for me, as a demonstration of your call upon my life, I am asking you, Lord God Almighty, to make every person under the sound of my voice now or delayed, I ask you, Lord God, to move upon them and make them a channel of your blessing. Blessings in the natural, blessings in the spiritual. God, may every word they speak to anyone be the word of power, the word of fire, to purge, to cleanse, to fix, to heal, to deliver, to set free, to make whole. Lord Jesus Christ, make your fourth watch family a channel of glory, a channel of fire, a channel of restoration, a channel of healing, a channel of reconciliation, a channel of salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have your way in and through our lives, O oh God. Lord, let it be manifested in us. God, baptize your people this morning with new tongues, fresh fire upon every person. Let Pentecost begin now. Let tongues of fire, mighty rushing wind, move through every household, move through every space and place where your people are. Move through every continent. Move through every nation and tongue. Move upon your people this day, God. Move upon Africa. Move upon China. Move upon Russia. Move upon Ukraine. Move upon Europe. Move upon America. Move upon Asia. Move upon all of the Caribbean. Move upon Australia. Move this morning, oh gracious, wonderful God. Move upon us and do our glorious work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we uproot every plant, every demonic plant in our lives, in our ministry. Oh, God Almighty, every demonic plant in our lives, Father, we uproot them by fire this morning. Any one God that we are married to that was not according to your will, any demon that has tricked us and married us, oh God, we pray that you will right that wrong. Father, either they repent and turn and come to you and become part of purpose or uproot them for the sake of purpose in the name 
name of Jesus. Any demon or devil that any fourth watch person is married to or is in relationship with. Father God, I ask you boldly this morning for the sake of your purpose. I repent on their behalf. Lord, they were in ignorance and looking at flesh, looking at things of the soul when they got into this covenant. But I ask you sincerely, O oh God, release your people from unfortunate covenants, from covenants made in ignorance, from covenants made through trick of the devil. Release your people from those covenants today, Lord. Father, I repent. Come on. Glory to God. I repent for any covenant made. Some of them have made covenants, oh God has said, because they have had so many bad experiences. I don't want to get married again. I don't think there is any good man or good woman out there, so I will stay single. But know that they are children of God. Know that they are walking according to your will and purpose. There is a need for a purpose partner. There is a need for a life partner that helps to fulfill purpose. And so God we ask you to forgive. Forgive all those who have made covenants who have said things, O God Almighty that has been a curse over their own lives. We back up and we reverse those curses. We cancel those covenants now in the name of Jesus. Come on, people of God. Father, Lord, come on, repeat after me. Father, if I have made any covenant that affects my life, that affects my generation, that affects my finances, that affects my health, that affects my mindset, that affects my ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I repent this morning, O oh God. I repent this morning, O oh God. I repent this morning sincerely, O oh God, and ask for a restart. I ask for a restart, O oh God. Change that which I have spoken over my own life or others have spoken over me. Rearrange, O oh God, and set me on course for your glory and for your namesake. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Deliverance has taken place. Burdens have been lifted. Transformation has happened. Come on, reconciliation has happened. Persons have been shifted in the realm of the spirit. Promotions have happened this morning in the name of Jesus. Things that you were not experiencing, you're now going to start to experience. I feel my whole body getting that signal from God that I am here. I am present. It is my word that is going forward. I am here to make it happen. I feel the presence of the living God. Come on, guys. This is happening now in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that you've been struggling with, whatever it is that has been out of whack in your family, in your children's lives, in your finance, in your marriage, whatever has been out of whack in your business, you're doing everything you can, but you're not seeing the benefits, you're not seeing the inflows. Everybody else is succeeding around you, but not you. Sometimes it is curses that you have spoken over your own self, and sometimes it is curses that have been spoken by others. But this morning, we uproot every curse every curse every seed of curse planted in your business planted in your marriage planted in your life planted in your ministry we uproot them this morning come on grab those roots by the trunk and pull them up by the root in the name of Jesus Christ grab those wickedness grab those evil things that have been spoken against you grab that spirit of witchcraft that spirit of generational curse on this deliverance Thursday grab that spirit that is root in your life, in your in your ministry, in your business, and uproot it. Come on, do a faith move. Uproot that wickedness. Uproot that 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 badge badge against your business. Uproot that chain that has been planted in your business, stopping it from flourishing. Come on, grab it by the scruff of the neck and break it off in the name of Jesus. Cut off that head with the sword of the spirit that it will never come back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Throw it into the sea of forgetfulness and may it never return to your business, to your life, to your ministry, to your family, to your marriage. 
to your household in the name of Jesus, to your bank account in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you walk in the fullness of the goodness of God. May you flourish and prosper. May your nation flourish. May your community flourish and prosper. May every good thing be your portion in this season. I prophesy the goodness of the Lord, the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow. I declare that as you uproot every wicked thing that you have planted in your own life and that Satan has planted in your life through people and through demons and devils, as they are uprooted this morning, I prophesy to you that the time for your blessing has come. The time for your healing has come. The time for your deliverance has come. It is here in the name of Jesus. The time for your acceleration is here. The time for your expansion and enlargement is here. The time for you to walk in praise and worship and faith is here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, our hallelujah will come from a clear place. Our hallelujah will be unto him who is worthy. Our glorious, wonderful praise and adoration will come from a place that is free. For who the sun sets free today is free indeed. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, we declare our nations free. We declare peace to the nation of Israel. Peace to the nation of Israel. We declare hallelujah that all nuclear arsenals are under lock and key by the, the holy angels of god there shall be no nuclear war in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we seal every silo we declare a hedge around a hedge of fire around every nuclear silo in the name of jesus christ of nazareth yes this world will see wars and rumors of wars but nuclear wars you don't come back from and so we declare that all the man will always do wicked because the heart of man according to Jesus is deceitful above all else and desperately wicked and so the desperately wicked hearts will produce desperate desperately wicked actions but we declare that because we live here and because for us Jesus care no nuclear war we will share yes we cancel every nuclear war plan in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we speak to the heart of the Iranian government we speak speak to the heart of the, 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 the Pakistani government, the Israeli government. We speak to the hearts of the Indian government. We speak to the hearts of the English government and the US government and the Russian government and the Chinese government and every other government that has nuclear arsenal. And we say, forget that you have them, for they shall never be used. In the name of Jesus, I seal every silo. I don't care if you have 5,000 or just two. I don't care if you have one i seal every silo where nuclear wars are by faith this morning we agree and we seal every silo we shut down every nuclear ballistic weapons every test of intercontinental weapons that designed to destroy persons are far off to kill innocent people we seal those silos now and father if they try to fire any of those weapons Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as we come together as your sons, Father, you've been accusing us of not being strong and mighty through you to the pulling down of strongholds. You've accused us of being lukewarm and weak. You've accused us of not being watchmen on the wall. You've said that the, the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. You've said, God Almighty, that we have not been taking dominion. And so this morning, we are demonstrating that we are ready. The Fort Watch family is ready. And so we say, to you Lord Jesus Christ assign angels to every ballistic intercontinental missile every missile oh God almighty that is set for mass destruction of your people we ask you God if they press that button let it explode right there in that in that silo in that in that place where it is to fire from let it explode right there that they will know that we have spoken and we have authority in the name of Jesus father it's time for your sons and daughters to demonstrate power and confidence and glory and might and dominion in the earth and so today is the day of that day because you have delivered us because there is no more dark clouds over our eyes because there is no more fear in our minds because we now have the mind of Christ we declare and decree that what we say shall be established in the name of Jesus and we declare 
any wicked evil power instigated by the evil of man's heart or by Satan's influence. If they want to do, to do harm and danger to to innocent people, Father, may those weapons explode in their hands in the in the in the in the the tube where the, the the bombs are coming out of whether they're on ship in tanks or in in si missile silos father may they explode right there that they will not press any more button because they will know that to press that button is certain self-destruction in the name of jesus we call it forth god may satan recognize that we the fourth watch family have come into the knowledge of who you say we are and we will Will now stand believing that what we declare what we decree is according to your heart and it has it must be established and must come to pass for your angels have already been dispatched to take our words and make them happen in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 to the king of kings and lord of lords glory be to the king of kings hallelujah hallelujah i bless your people oh god as faith has moved mightily in this place this morning, I thank you, O gracious, wonderful God, that what you did, O God Almighty, for the 3,000 when you came out after ministering and you saw these people, O God, who were beset by devils, sickness and disease, and you healed them all. May the heal them all anointing fall afresh upon your people this morning on Arrows Internet Radio, on Instagram, hallelujah, listening, on Facebook, watching and listening, on TikTok watching and listening on YouTube, uh, God Almighty, listening and watching. My Father, may your fire, may your anointing, may your power fall afresh upon them. May new tongues, new languages, new night anointing, new desire, new power, new glory, new boldness, new confidence be upon all that are under the sound of my voice, whether live now or delay. God, let it be upon them. Let them move in the goodness of your glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo, wow, that was heavy stuff, man. Ah, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Hallelujah. We just ran right into a flow. Blessed good morning to each and every one of you. We're almost at the end because we have just prayed. Come on, men are always to pray and not to faint. Don't get weary in well-doing for in due time you will accomplish you will see the blessings of the lord if you do not faint god is saying not enough of his people are praying and so we have made a decision as a family that we are gonna pray we are gonna pray we're gonna pray and we're gonna believe god no matter what we see or don't see we are going to believe god that it is well it is well it is well it is well since we're not going to hell we might as well break every spell and know that it is well in the name of jesus and the only way to break spell is through prayer the only way for it to be well manifested wellness in our lives wholeness in our lives is true prayer so if you're not into prayer if you don't like prayer if you don't want to be a part of prayer then you're saying you do not want it to be well with you with your marriage with your ministry with your future with your business with your finances because only true prayer can it all be well in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 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 thank you sister Rhonda. galatians 6 verse 9 yes that's it praise god from whom all blessings flow praise him all creatures here below what a mighty god we serve i know that some of you are just jumping up and down you can feel the presence of god moving in your stomach this morning for god has done a mighty work and he has moved through to every house every space every place some of you that are at, at work already you cannot contain yourself you feel like you want to explode but it is good explode amen praise god some of you that are at home your children are looking your people around you, your spouse looking and wondering if you're okay because you just feel the glow of the glory just coming through your skin i'm telling you i hey, 
God Almighty, I'm telling you what I'm feeling right now. I'm covered in goosebumps. If you are feeling what I'm feeling, I know it's hard for you to contain yourself because the glory of God is in your space. Angels are packed up in your rooms, your space, wherever you are. Angels are there. I'm telling you, angels are touching you, are just touching you and checking to see, is this really the same person? Is this the person that is moving by faith so much this morning, today, this afternoon, this evening, whatever time? The angels are touching you to see if it is truly you, because this is the faith day. This is the day of victory. That's my faith talk, and I'm sticking to it in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Yes. Hallelujah. Correction has come. Direction has come. Reconciliation has come. Manifestation has come because the Shekinah glory of God is present in our space in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you for your Shekinah glory presence, O God Almighty. Thank you for the victory that comes with your presence in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that we are more than conquerors. We are victorious. We are mighty through you to the pulling down of every stronghold. And the strongholds have been broken this morning. The shackles are broken. I am delivered. The shackles are broken. I've been set free. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The shackles are broken and we have been set free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm telling you, if we can believe God, listen to me carefully, people of God. Listen to me carefully. If we can truly believe God, not because of what we have heard or seen or done in the past, but be, believe God because of who he is, then and only then will we make it. You know, last night, hallelujah, last night, I was um, doing, I was on Arrow's internet radio and we were doing uh, a, a program about relationship with God, relationship with God. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sister Tamika. Why you miss most of the thing, you know, Sister T, you have to wake up early and this, you know, you have to set your alarm, you got to do, you can't be missing Tamika, we love you too much and God loves you too much and wants to do too much for you. You got to get into some of what is, is missing. You may have to watch it over later as you have time, but you cannot miss what was prayed and declared and decreed this morning, Tamika. And so if you missed any of it or most of it up until now, if you're just coming on now, Sister Tamika, I would endear you and implore you to watch over this morning and just coming in agreement with what was prayed because the lives of every person who was on from early and who participated in this morning's special prayer led by the Holy Ghost ah, have been shifted. Hallelujah. That's right, my sister. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that you're a humble, obedient servant of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, as I was saying last night, I was on, my Pastor Marsh and I were on um, Arrow's Internet Radio, and we were talking about a relationship with God. And as I was talking about, as we were talking and sharing about uh, the importance of the relationship with God, one of the things that God showed me that can bring change if we understand the relationship was he brought me to, 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 um, to our national anthem, our Jamaican national anthem. And, 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 and God pointed out to me the value of the relationship of the anthem with him and us. And most people who know the Jamaican national anthem know that it's a prayer. But most Jamaicans, or should I say, let me not say most because that uh, assumes that I know the exact figure. I don't know the ex exact figure. So I will say safely, too many Jamaicans do not know the true value of the relationship that our anthem builds. We do not know the true value of what could happen out of our anthem, out of the words of our anthem, whether it's sung or spoken, what could happen if we knew and had a relationship with who we were saying or singing our anthem to. 
And so last night, as I, I didn't get to say it on the radio because the Lord was just ministering to me, especially when Pastor Marsha was talking. And, um, and the time ran out, so I didn't get a chance to reveal it to the Arrows uh, family. But I want to just say, share something this morning as we, we, we come close um, about relationship using the first verse, the first uh, stanza of our national anthem to bring across the point. So if you're not from Jamaica and if you've never heard the anthem, if you've never um, if you've never watched track and field at the Olympics or at the world championships level and you've not heard our anthem, uh, let me just give you an idea and a revelation of our anthem this morning. Please, it is not anything negative against your anthem of the country where you're from. I'm just using this anthem that is a prayer to show you the importance of relationship with God this morning so that you can then utilize that example in your own life and in your own family and in your own business and whatever it is to make a change, to make a difference, to, to, to increase the intimacy of your relationship with God so that you can accomplish what needs to be accomplished. So here we go. So, so, so Jamaica has about nearly 3 million or about 3 million people living here and probably three or four times that amount living elsewhere. Amen. Persons who are connected, legitimately straightforward Jamaicans or Jamaican by association or by birth, um, connection to family bloodline. But the first line of our anthem says, Eternal Father, bless our land. Eternal Father, bless our land. Now, let me just point out something real quickly to you. That if you see someone on the street, if you see an insane person or a homeless person on the street, let me just please stay focused and realize the analogy and the, and the situation that I'm using to bring forward the importance of a deep, intimate relationship with, with God. Now, every time that we go places, sometimes at some churches, at some national functions, at big events at the stadium, we stand up and we sing the national anthem and we enjoy it and we sit down. But because it is not from a relational perspective, <clears throat> because we're not saying the anthem or singing the anthem from the place of knowing who we're singing to and knowing what the person we're singing to is able to do, then it is just words. Just imagine, ladies, 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 can I talk to you ladies? When you were younger, when you were younger, because you're still young, when you were younger, in your teens, and in your young, young early 20s, and for those who are still there now, and that handsome, suave, bow-legged, Hershey brown complexion man with the six-pack came up to you and says, Hi, baby. How you doing? I want to get to know you. You look so fine. Coca-Cola bottle ain't got nothing on you. Oh, you are so true. Uh, there is everything that is nice about you. And you just get weak in the knees. And you're saying please. And you're trying your best not to sneeze. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and, and he says all these nice things. And you feel good. And you feel like, wow, uh, you're on top of the world. And you, you give him your phone number. And you go away. And he calls you. And he talks all these nice things. And he keeps talking these nice things. But in his heart, he doesn't mean it. Because he doesn't know anything about you. He just wants to get something from you. So many times we say the national anthem and we call him eternal father, but we're just trying to sweet him up. We make him think that we can blow smoke to him. We can call him eternal father and then ask him to bless our land. Like the man can say, oh baby, you're so beautiful, but he really just wants you to give him something. Come on. Are you following me? There is no relationship. There is no commitment. There is no covenant. There is no process through which there is there's a, a, a reason, a legitimate reason for intimacy, for exchange of blessing. He just wants something from you and all he's willing to pay for it is sweet words. That's how we see our national anthem. Too many of us, we give God sweet words because we expect him to do his part. We know that he can bless us, but we have no relationship with him for him to give us stuff. So we're just like that man who wants something from that woman, but is not willing to give her what is legitimate. And so we send up smoke words. 
insincere words, legitimate words, but insincere from the heart. And we expect that God is not going to know that we're not sincere and send down the blessing. Amen. So when we say eternal father, we are really saying father of all eternity, father who is eternal in nature and character and destiny and everything. You are great and greatly to be praised. That's what we mean when we say eternal father. We are saying you are the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the alpha and the omega, the I am that I am, the great Jehovah, the great Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. That's what we're saying when we're saying eternal father. It's just that we we don't know him from that perspective. Amen. Hallelujah. So when we in the fourth watch hour say eternal father, we are asking you to bless our land. We not only are asking someone who is great, but we're asking someone who we know will utilize his greatness to truly bless our land. So we wouldn't ask somebody who is poor and destitute and who doesn't even have $10 to buy us a meal so when we're asking the eternal father to bless our land we need to know that he's able we need to know that he's wealthy we need to know that the cattle and a thousand hills belong to him we need to know that his riches in glory is immeasurable we need to know that he is the everlasting father the prince of peace the king of kings our jehovah jireh come on glory to god and when we know this hallelujah and we say eternal father bless our land eternal father bless our family eternal father bless our life eternal father bless our marriage eternal father bless our ministry come on i hope somebody is getting this this morning eternal father bless brian bless daniel bless matthew bless gregory bless gregory senior eternal father bless my businesses in the mighty name of jesus come on somebody you got to understand that when you say eternal father you get his attention but when he turns around to look at who just said eternal father the place he looks is not in your mouth but in your heart oh somebody got to hear me this morning Somebody got to hear me this morning. Please, I'm begging you. Eternal Father, bless our land is not just the first line of our anthem. It's the first line of every prayer, every declare, every decree that every single human being must be asking of God. Eternal Father, you who are eternal, you who are mighty, in every way, shape, and form. You who are the one who is, has the Shekinah presence. You who are the God of Moses. The God who parted the Red Sea. The God who parted the Jordan. The God who fought many battles for the children of Israel. Without them have to lift a hand. It is that God that I am calling to this morning. And I'm saying, bless my marriage. Bless my health. Bless my children. Bless my land. Bless my finance. Bless my house. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he's able and he's willing. But we have to be sincere. Because as I said just now, he is not looking at our mouth and what we say. But he's looking at our heart from whence what we say comes. And if we're trying to boops him or trick him or take him for a prickie, we will not get what we're expecting. And that is one of the reasons not always, but that is one of the reasons why we ask for things from God and we're not seeing it. We ask for husband from God. We ask for wife from God. We ask for financial breakthrough from God, but we're not seeing it because our relationship from our heart with him does not line up with what we're asking of him. And I'm saying to you, man might be able to trick you. Man might be able to trick us. I have been conned so many times. I've heard the sympathy stories and I've extended myself so many times and I don't regret it. But we can't trick God. We cannot trick God. Come on. We must have sincerity of heart. So when we say eternal father, bless our land, we must truly want the land to be blessed. Come on. If you're in America, Yes, you have your own anthem and your anthem is awesome, wonderful. I love singing the Star Spangled Banner. Love it. 
Hallelujah. Only the Jamaican anthem nicer than the US anthem. Amen. Praise God. But it's not a competition. So don't get all hot under the color. It's okay. Amen. But I'm saying to you, when we say eternal father, bless our land, we need to know what that means. We need to know what that means. When we say eternal father, bless our family, we need to know what that means. Because we cannot be saying, I have pure ugly people in my family. My family has pure antagonistic uh, hedonistic Jezebel people all the women are Jezebels marriages don't work in my family my country is wicked every is pure scammer and thief live here is pure murderers live here everybody in Jamaica incest all all you're doing is talking about negatives and wickedness about your country but when you go to pray you're saying eternal father bless our land God is not seeing your he's not saying hearing what you're saying he's looking at your heart so your heart is not for the country because you curse it every day. But then you come and say, an eternal father, bless our land. That's a sham. That's like the man who's just trying to get something from your girl and he's telling you anything you want to hear. But he means you no good. We have to be careful that our words and our heart line up because it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth will speak. Amen. That's just the first line. My God, look how much time take up for just the first line. But that's the most important line. When we're reaching into, the, into God, it's like a child going to daddy and saying, Daddy, can you give me some money to go get some ice cream? If that child, hear me carefully, and this is not a, a, a formula for parenting or a formula for, 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 for not parenting. Amen. I'm just giving you an example. It, it, even as a parent, we would like to see our children do right. We would like to see them behave well so that we can feel good about blessing them. As a parent, we will have to be kind to them just on the basis of being the parent. But it is easier when they are doing well in school. Come on, let's be real and honest. It is easier when they are well behaved. Well easier. And we go even extra. We will sacrifice extra when they are getting A's and B's. When they do their chores, clean up their room, wash the dishes. Oh my goodness. You go out of your way. So why do you think it's any different with God? He will bless us because he falls the rain on the just and on the unjust. But when we behave right, when we obey him, when we honor him, when we are sincere from our heart, know that he, hey, carabando, sheta, he will go above and beyond the call of duty for us. And it's the same thing with us. And so when we say eternal father, bless our land, we better be speaking right. When we say eternal father, bless our marriage, we better not be talking to our girlfriend or our, our, our bona fide brethren and saying, boy, I tell you, this woman has stressed me. I can't manage her. This must be a mistake. I, I can't believe God would give me this. God is it's like God cursed me, brother. That woman is miserable. She is stressing me. She's causing me all ends of problems. I, I, I don't even want to go home. But then when you're praying with her, you're holding hand in the night, you're saying, Father, Bless this marriage. Lord, I thank you for this marriage. I thank you that this marriage is a marriage of example, exemplary, a marriage of standard, a marriage of greatness, a marriage that will produce purpose. And God is saying, is who you're talking to? You think it's me, is 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 her you're trying to trick? I know your heart. I know what you said to Marlon um yesterday. I know what you said to James. I know what you said to Pastor Darset. So why why are you coming now? Come act like. Come act like. So God is not listening to our words, people of God. He's watching our heart. So when we say eternal father, bless our land, he says, okay, so your heart is towards the country, towards your marriage, towards your family, towards your children. You truly want, so here goes, blessing. So he sends the blessing when we line up. Amen? Hallelujah. So the next line is, guard us with your mighty hand. What's a guard? One who stands watch. One who, watch, one who watches over. One who protects. One who keeps. One who uh, and, uh, reflect, deflects everything that the enemy comes with. So when we say guard us with your mighty hand, his hand is there outstretched ready to guard us. But if we are misbehaving, if we are poking the lion, if we are taking a stick and poking the lion, adultery, 
fornication, lie, antagonistic, Jezebelistic behavior. If we are poking the lion and the lion springs to bite us, I am not sure if the mighty hand of God will prevent, he may prevent the lion from killing us. Hear me carefully because he loves us so much. He prevents the lion from killing us. But I'm not sure. I am not sure. Hear me? Please don't go say, I say, God make lion kill or destroy anybody. If we poke the lion by committing adultery, fornication, lying, walking in Jezebel spirit, walking in gossip and adultery and, and, and speaking out of turn and doing all the things that are disobedient to the word of God, then I can almost assure you that the lion, when you poke him, will get angry and he will jump. Remember, Satan is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Come on, that's word. And so when he jumps, God will stop him from kill you. But it doesn't mean he'll stop him from bite you. It doesn't mean he'll stop him from using his claws to cut you up so that you feel the pain. But what happens to us is that we're saying, Father, guard us with your mighty hand. But we're poking the lion. We're poking the lion. We're poking Satan. We're jumping like hopscotch from one place, the place of righteousness on Sunday or Saturday when we go to church, the place of righteousness when we're in devotion. But then when we go to work, when we go to school, when we go to in, into the community, when we're, when we're finished and we're on Facebook, we're poking the lion. We're demonstrating pride. All day, all we do is take selfie, post about what we're doing and who we are and what we have. And then when we come into devotion, we're like, oh God, you are awesome, oh God. And God is saying, what is that? How can I guard you when you're poking the lion? Come on, I got to tell you the truth. It's what God revealed to me last night from just our anthem. So that's guard us with a mighty hand. So we have to be in position. We have to be behind him for him to guard us. We have to be walking with him for him to guard us. We have to be in the place where he put us so that he can guard us. We have to be in his word so he can guard us. We have to be in the right heart and mindset so he can guard us with his mighty hand. Come on, somebody. The children of Israel were the recipients of God's promise to guard them with his mighty hand. But when they moved out from behind him, when they say, Moses, you go talk to him and then come tell us what him say. That means they were putting Moses between them and God. And it is God supposed to put a man between him and you, not you. Choose a man to between him and you. That's why when you idolize pastors, husbands, wives, children, you are putting someone, you are making a choice to put someone else between you and God. And God, and that person better be able to guard you with their mighty right hand because then God's mighty right hand will not reach around a God that you have placed between him and you to get to you and guard you. Oh, come on, somebody. You should bring an offering for that. Praise God. Amen. Pastor Noel, are you hearing this? Last night I wanted to drop this, but I know that you would be on this morning so you can hear it. Our relationship with God, as intimate as we get, allows him to guard us with his mighty hand. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm almost out of time, but this is exciting, don't? Hallelujah. You're loving this? Praise God. Verse 3 says, keep us free. Line 3, sorry. Keep us free from evil powers evil powers the bible says that we are born in sin and shaped in iniquity adam and eve cause us to be in an iniquitous a sinful a wicked and deceitful deceptive environment a system that is run by the god of this system of things which is lucifer therefore nothing good can come from this earth unless we who are called by god are the ones who do it by god's grace and so when we say keep us free from evil powers, again, if we're poking the lion, again, if we're, 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 we're having a little relationship on the side, again, if we're dishonoring our head, come on, women, if you're talking negative against your husband, against your boss, against your pastor, if you're constantly saying, boy, I can't bother, I can't stand, I can't this, I can't that, and I wish them would have this, and I wish them would have that, and all these things, come on, I hope you're following me, and I'm not saying it too fast, because time is running out so I'm speaking fast but I hope you're still hearing me if we're saying all these negative things then understand that we are 
releasing evil powers. And so if we're saying, God, keep me free from evil powers, but we are inviting evil powers by what we say. In Matthew 12, it says, we'll be judged for every idle word we speak. Why? Because every idle word is a portal that brings forth a demonic manifestation. And so the evil powers are often brought on by things we do and things we say. And so when we are the ones causing evil powers to come upon us, when we now turn to God and say, keep us free from evil powers, we're like a man who is saying, I have other girlfriends outside, but I want you to treat me good. I want you to wash, cook, and clean for me. I want you to take care of me. I want you to love me special, but I have some other girlfriends as well. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. We cannot cheat on God and then expect him to keep us free from the repercussions of who we're cheating on him with. Oh, somebody got to hear me this morning. Let's stop cheating on God. Let's just embrace him so that when we say, Lord, I am committed and covenanted to you. Keep me free from the evil powers that wants to enter my door, enter my business, enter my marriage, enter my children. He says, yes, daughter. Yes, son. I got this because you are not inviting evil powers. So the evil powers are illegal. So I can fight for you. Oh, Jesus. Whew. Is this powerful or what? What a good God. Uh, line four says, be our light through countless hours. Now he is the only light. I have lights here that shines on me now that illuminates my external, but God's light illuminates our internal. And so when we say be our light through countless hours, we are asking God to shine a light on our inside. We're asking God to shine a light on the inside of our politicians, on the inside of our men, on the inside of our women, on the inside of our children. We're asking God to shine a light, the light of God. Therefore, what we're really saying is God reconciles us, give us salvation, save, save us. That's what we're saying when our, our fourth line of the anthem says, be our light through countless hours. The Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So this is a line straight out of the Bible because when we say be our light, it means be our works, be the work of you through us that men may see it and glorify you. Be our light, which means transform us, that we might say what we hear you say and do what we see you do. Come on, somebody. I'm preaching good by the Spirit of the living God this morning. Hallelujah. 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 If you ever hear God talk like this before, record it and bring it come because I never hear it. God is too good. Hallelujah. So he wants to um, illuminate us and cause us to shine so brightly that men get jealous, that people see this nation and say, wow, what a nation shining bright. What a nation shining bright. Amen. Come on, moving quickly. Woo, I'm out of time completely. It says to our leaders, O great defender, grant true wisdom from above. I'm going to stop at verse 5 for the sake of grace this morning because we're out of time. It says, to our leaders, O great defender. So remember, eternal father has already established that we know who he is. We know how powerful and mighty and awesome he is. So when we mention him as great defender down at verse 5 or line 5, he already knows that we know who he is. And so that we're just reinforcing the fact that he's our great defender. And so when we say great defender grant true wisdom from above grant true wisdom to our leaders if the we of if our leaders have accepted the light of god in them and now they are depending on god then he will grant true wisdom to those who are dependent on him and if we are praying the prayer of saying god grant our leaders true wisdom and we have light of god shining through us then true wisdom will come to our politicians and when our troop our politicians are demonstrating the true wisdom of god then the glory of god will manifest in our nation and Jamaica will under God increase in beauty, fellowship and prosperity and play her part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. And that can happen for not just Jamaica, but for all nations of the world and for all people and tongue, for all families, for all businesses, 
for all elements of your life. If you follow the principle of what this national anthem has said, even just to line five, come on, then the grace of God, which is the number five, will manifest in and through our lives in ways that we will never, ever understand. Because he's the exceeding abundantly above all we could ask, think, or imagine. I know that Jamaicans on a whole will get this message and understand this impassioned plea more than others but if you're listening carefully and can make the connection with your own country with your own situation with your own business with your own life with your own marriage with your own ministry and do it the same way then you'll get the same benefit as long as it is not just word but heart amen and i don't mean your physical heart that's only blood only blood come from that i'm talking about your soul your mind will and emotion amen if that is lined up with god then you will see the benefits that are unbelievable in the name of jesus christ i hope you enjoyed the word this morning i hope that you were blessed by what was said hallelujah and what was done praise god from whom all blessings flow glory to god Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We honor and adore you. We thank you for your goodness and mercy towards us. We thank you for your love and for your peace. Lord, may you continue to watch over us, to guard and keep us with your mighty hand and bless us to be a blessing to those who we come in contact with in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now. May they be to our bodies health and strength, prosperity and good success, life and life more abundantly. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the apostles and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' mighty name. Hmm. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it and took a sup and he said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hi, Norma Reed. Good morning. I bless you. I see you're just saying good morning now. Norma, I would advise you. I would advise you, please, whether today is your first time or you've joined before, please go back and watch on Facebook or on YouTube, this or Instagram, any one of the platforms that are available to you. Go back and watch this morning's devotion from beginning to end because there's a blessing awaiting you. There's a prophetic encouragement. There's an anointing that is waiting to be imparted to you, Norma. So if you just woke up or just got a time to join, only word you need to hear this morning is go back and be a part of what God has said and done this morning. Some of you who miss elements of it, maybe I fell asleep, please, I beg you, go back and just soak up what God did this morning because it was not normal. It was supernatural. Amen. And so you can be blessed by it. Um, good news to report. Hallelujah. Earlier this week, I repented and, 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 and asked God to forgive me for being anxious in trying to find a place to move to and so on and so forth. And, um, and yesterday, the call came. Yes, you have found a place. A place has been approved for you. And so you can, um, you can move in. And so we just thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your love and support. Uh, God is faithful. Now we have to um, <laughs> pack at speed and um, and try to be out of here by weekend. Um, if you if you so choose, if you are able and you so choose to be a blessing to us as we go through this time, anyone who has ever moved knows that there is quite a bit of expenses associated with that process. And we're moving to a whole different level, a whole different situation that I, I won't go into publicly, but you understand. And so if the Lord moves you, I'm, I'm not asking for anything. If the Lord moves you to assist us in any way, shape or form, please do not rebuke the devil. Amen. Um, any help that you can give to us in that process. Um, even if you're close by and you physically wants to just come and help us put in um, elbow grease, as we call it, that's fine. If you're overseas, you may send 
uh, any kind of assistance that you wish to to send to us we would be more than grateful to be able to get through this phase of our lives we want to be finished by weekend so that on monday morning we can be doing our devotion from the new place and so it requires help so if you can help any at all anything will be accepted any no matter nothing is too small or too big um, if you so choose but remember it must be that God inspires you to do this because if you do it thinking that you're doing it for us and that you're gonna get something back then you will be disappointed but if you do it as a blessing to God that we benefit from then God will be a blessing to you amen so we're kind of different in this ministry we ask you to be a blessing but only as the lord leads because he's the one that will owe you and he's no man's debtor he pays his bills amen hallelujah where is children and so now raise your hands for the blessing and now may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you may the lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day. God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day. His way. In Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus love you. And we love the whole of one too. Thank you so much again for your prayers, guys, for standing with us, for those who called and encouraged us and said, you know, God is going to deliver. God is going to come through for you. And he did as we knew he would. So continue to do good. Go about doing good. Calling, excuse me, and encouraging people, encouraging somebody, bless somebody, give somebody a meal, do something good for somebody in this day and in this season, because that God honors and loves and then you can have access in a greater way to our eternal Father. Bless you. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. Sister Denise, bless you. Love you, girl. So good to see you back on track and taking stock because that's a fact. Hallelujah. Bless you, guys. Enough love. Boy, I don't like leaving you guys.